Hello, this is Maggie, and someone asked me to demonstrate this and explain a little bit about how it works. So before I use the electronic tone, which is what they were asking about, I'm going to show the, the fork, tuning fork method first for setting A. And um, you tune A to the fork and just get it close first, but now we're going to check it. And we're going to check it with this F. Listen to the beat rate. It's a very distinct beat right there, and then that's almost on. So that's nice. The, the, if the beats are equal, it's A is a match. And how that works is there's a harmonic series above these. And if I start on this F and go up with the harmonic series, <coughs> it ends up here. At the, the fifth partial of F, two is a four so and you can hear the beat and if we want this in tune with this whatever beat rate f and this create if we create the same beat rate with this a then we know they're the same um, some people will sometimes use this f and it puts you up here and then that's the second partial of A. The reason it's uh, recommended to not do that is you're getting more inharmonicity effects um, and it can throw your A off. So it's better to use the first partial of this A, which is what you really want to tune with the fifth partial of F2. So that's why we do that. So let's, um, since this beat rate is really nice and easy to hear with this nice thick fork, let's lower A a little bit and compare the A two flat and then I'll raise it and compare it to sharp. And that explains it. So it's the same with an electronic tuning device, but uh, I'll get to that in a second. I want to do this first. So I'm going to, let's lower A first. be very nasty. So here is our and let's listen to this one. Much slower. Very ridiculously slow. So now and I'm whacking this on um, something I have nearby that's made out of hard rubber. Some people like to whack it on their knee. I don't love that. Uh, don't whack it on the piano. <laughs> have something else you can whack it on. So let me um, raise A up. So I've made a wide fifth there. So this should be booking. Now let's compare our fork again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna whack it on my rubber thing. Now let's listen to this. Oh, let me stop the fork. That's booking. So now we know A is sharp. And it was very close to in tune to begin with, so I'm not going to demonstrate that. Now, they asked about the the electronic tuner, and I've covered the speakers. It's just so loud. I'm going to set it there, and we're going to do the same thing. So here we go. Compare it. A little faster, so this is a slightly different A. Okay. And then we compare this beat rate but it's still too fast. We need to lower that. So I'm going to lower it. I'm going to use a weight. I have a weight that I use for keys and I think I left it in a piano or somewhere. So I'm going to use a, a key leveling weight for the moment and just try not to scratch my piano. Um, oops, too far. There we are. Now let me compare it to my electronic tuner again. And then here. So that's the idea. Um, uh, you can use electro. I, the fork is really clear. The electronic tuner is tentatively more accurate. My favorite way is to listen to that upper partial. And since I'm making a video, let me just go ahead and do that again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this. Actually, that's right. So listen for that upper partial. Where you're listening for is, uh, let's see, where am I here? 
this one. You can't see it. I'm listening to E6. Uh, so E6 up that way. You're listening to that with this A. And what happens, we have inharmonicity in a piano, but not in the electronic tuner. So the electronic tuner's partials are going to be mathematically more pure, whereas the partials from this A are going to go sharp. So sharp. <laughs> so if you tune the A to where it's the the upper partial is beating uh, three or four beats a second, your A is going to be on. So let's let's do that. Actually, I said it was on, so I know it is. There it is. See, so because I could hear those little beats. Let me let me sing them for you. It's that speed. Ooh, it wavered a little bit there. La, 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 la. So anyway, that's how you can tune A without this other check uh, and everything. And you can't do that with a fork. You can't do that with a fork because a fork has inharmonicity. Um, and if you do that, it will be wrong. So I hope this answered that person's question and maybe was informative for people um, if you'd like me to, to try, experiment with anything, uh, let me know. Happy tuning. And please subscribe. Thank you so much. Like the video. Woohoo. Bye.